Speaking of trying to stay healthy, most Israelis were pretty bundled up in warm clothing today to protect themselves from the major winter storm that's affecting most of the country. Aaron, what did you do to my sunshine? It's been raining all day here. I don't think I've ever worn such heavy jackets in Israel before. <laughs> I, I have nothing to do with it, I swear. I didn't do it. Uh, <laughs> if it were up to me, I would turn the heat up for sure. But, uh, but no, I think, you know, if we look at it in, in a positive light, that, you know, we're replenishing the well, I think that'd be better for Absolutely. all of us. Absolutely. There is certainly enough water right now to be replenishing the well and the Sea of Galilee, hopefully. Right? Hopefully, yeah. Mm -hmm. Forecasters say this is likely to be the rainiest day all week, even though we've already received a great deal of much-needed precipitation. Thunderstorms pounded northern and central Israel this afternoon, and the coastal highway was closed to traffic because of flooding. Other flash flood warnings have been issued for the Judean desert, around the Dead Sea, and even the northern Negev region. It's been icy cold, too, as temperatures dip to much chillier levels than normal for this time of year. Skiers and winter sports enthusiasts are happy, though, since snow is falling on the slopes of Mount Hermon and mountain peaks throughout the Golan Heights that's turning the entire area into a sparkling winter wonderland.